tonight, back to school and back to basics. The government says it plans to test all six-year-olds on reading and maths amid growing concerns over our children's plummeting standards. Donald Trump says he will honour our refugee resettlement deal with the US. The commitment comes as a US federal judge slaps down his controversial immigration order, but only for Muslim travellers already in the country. They say they've listened and now the big banks are rolling out a number of changes to keep customers happy. Think before you ink, how even the most popular tattoos could keep you from landing your dream job. And the Scorchers put the Sixers to the torch. The Perth side is once again Big Bash champions. This is 10 Eyewitness News. First at five with Natasha Belling. Good evening. First tonight, Australia's classrooms look set to return to the basics as the federal government works to reverse what it fears is a decline in our children's education. It wants six-year-old students to undergo mandatory testing in a bid to help teachers identify the kids falling behind. Jonathan Lee joins us now from Canberra. And Jonathan, is this the government admitting it has made a mistake? Well, good evening. It's not so much admitting it's made a mistake, but perhaps it's an admission that the system is failing our students, especially when you consider countries with far less money and far fewer resources are actually outperforming our kids in the classroom. It might, though, be an admission that perhaps what our parents did the old ways, well, they worked best. <laughs> 